A costume is prompting outrage from some residents in our area after two people dressed in what appears to be blackface this Halloween. Today, we're hearing from a local mother who took to social media to raise her concerns. They took the time to make these by hand, to make them as offensive as can be. Paula Rondeau says she was horrified when people dressed in what appears to be blackface as their Halloween costume. It's like insidious and it is uh, this tone that is becoming the norm and ingrained in everything. And uh, then it turns into this bully ment mentality um, where if you do speak out against it, you're the problem, you're the snowflake. The images were taken at two Halloween parties at the Carol Rodden Gun Club and Frewsburg American Legion. They mimic what's known as a lawn jockey statue. According to Ferris State University, over the decades, the prevalence of black versions of the figure touted exaggerated features that was often symbolic of racism and racist imagery. And this isn't just about Frewsburg, like I've said before. This is a, an issue we're seeing nationwide. And as a parent, I don't want my kids to grow up. Uh, my children saw those pictures and their jaws hit the floor. And they, you know, tears were in their eyes. And they couldn't understand why are adults doing this, especially in public? And they're like, happy about it. While the two pictured have not been publicly identified, the Carol Rod and God Club released a statement in response, saying in part, we are a private club which consists over 1,100 members of all ethnic groups. The photos shared were taken out of context by Paula Rondeau. Our club does not condone any bullying or prejudice behavior. Yeah, it's a private club, but you work in the community. And, you know, if this is the mindset and the attitude, I guess I don't understand why they're upset. It's a way to deflect and to distract from the real issue. In the end, Rondeau hopes that speaking out will help address the issue and prompt more people to speak up about injustices, not just in our community, but around the nation as well. In full transparency, Rondeau says she has since moved out of Frewsburg and to Russell, Pennsylvania, following a fire at her home last year.